Today we start. Uh, this, this is the third video in this series. Uh, we start at the Salt Rock Hotel, and I'm going to park here at the Granny's Pool parking. Because that's the best, easiest way to get access to this place along the beach. Let's just park right about here under the tree. I'm standing here at the entrance towards the Granny's Pool, which will lead to Salt Rock Hotel, which is uh, for me the easiest way to get there with all my camera equipment. Um, this, this is a very popular place, especially for grandparents to bring their grandkids. That's, uh, that's why it got the name. They play here. There's a small little tidal pool that's just nice for small kids. That's fairly safe under most conditions, except maybe high tide. So that's why they bring their kids here. I noticed that the sign that warns visitors about the rock currents are gone, is gone. I don't know what happened to it, if it got uh, stolen or if it got washed away. But in any case, it's not here anymore. But the topic of rip currents is quite uh, important and I'm, uh, I need to make a video about that as well because we had drownings here in this very same spot because people bathe where they're not supposed to do that and they don't understand the currents. It's quite often tourists that come here from inland who doesn't know the sea here and who, who doesn't follow the news. We regularly have incidents here where either somebody drowns or somebody has to be rescued and it's not always a very nice story. <clears throat> this is also the entrance to the beach, at least to the Salt Rock Hotel. And as I said, the Salt Rock Hotel got quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to walk there. There's damage on the way as well, which I will discuss. The fences here behind me are all signs of that time. Places that couldn't be, um, walls that couldn't be replaced. So they've just put fences there. There's still lots of remnants from that storm. Um, a lot of rules have changed because people actually built across the beach line which was not allowed and now they're not allowed to recover or to restore the buildings across that line. That's why we have fences uh, depending on maybe appeals and so on. That's why you see that. And here behind me you see the famous granny pool that I talked about earlier. It's quite empty, there's just a little puddle there. There's a mummy playing with a baby. That's a normal, um, normal thing here. You'll find it all the time. Salt Rock Hotel is here in the background. And further on you will see the buildings uh, at Thompson's Bay, the white buildings of Santorini that I covered in my first video. That's how it all connects together. In many places the high water edge uh, has been strengthened by polyethylene sandbags as you can see here in this picture in the background and then it has been covered by plant materials well the plant materials are obviously very important to protect the beach uh, it needs to be maintained it needs to, to be quite strong and its roots it needs to be deep to give some protection against the high tide what we haven't said so far is that uh, obviously when you have erosion at the back, the ocean actually takes back land by eroding the upper edge. It actually takes that back and in the future you might get that the high water might rise above that point because the, the sand goes into the sea and, and then obviously the, 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 the beach is more accessible to the, to the sea if you want to put it that way. So it is quite, uh, it's quite important to protect it, otherwise the sea will obviously it will erode the cliffs, you might get major damage here.
here in the background, here we have actually have um, some of the rondavals that's left from the ones that, the, that uh, collapsed. It doesn't look like that high here because obviously the sand has built up. The sand was depleted at times, so it looked like a quite an enormous cliff. But that's that's uh, that's those rondavals lied on the beach that time. In the background, you see the Salt Rock Hotel, and then here, right in front of us, is a, is a remnant of that wall that I was talking about. So this wall was connected right up to that at the end, and uh, it extended quite some distance here. On top of that, it was filled up with sand, and there were lovely terraces there, where people used to have drinks and look over the ocean here. Uh, it's quite a lovely view at night time, it's, it's spectacular. And uh, obviously it was part of the hotel. There's only one real hotel that sits on the sea in Belito. The rest are deeper in. They don't really have sea views, not as much as us here in any case. The Sidewalk Hotel was established around about the 1930s. And these walls, the tidal pools that we will see most more of now, we were all built in that time. The storm of 2007 destroyed a lot of that. Some of it was rebuilt. We have some working tidal pools again. But um, environmentalists is, uh, is uh, objecting to the complete rebuild of, of, of whatever happened uh, existed before. So there's uh, quite there's appeals to court and so on going on. I'm not I'm not uh, sure what the details are at the moment. But um, we, uh, we don't know at this moment what the, what the outcome will be in the future. So what we see now is what we have. I want to go take you up to the tower because you have a better view from there. And uh, then we can discuss a few more things. gives you excellent ocean views. You can look right down onto the surf, which is brilliant because the tourists love that. We all love it, obviously. Uh, it's nice to come sometimes where you have a good viewpoint where, without being in too much danger. If you actually look at the amount of sand that's in this tower, you realize that the sea can get anywhere. And there must have been a time not long ago when it was here. I see there's some damage again. So it happens. In the end, if you leave this, uh, unmaintained, it will definitely be destroyed by the sea in time. Here behind me, you can get a good view of the Salt Rock Hotel, seen from this tower. The wall was, co was covering from here to there, to that little tower, and it was filled with sand, and those lawns extended right up to, to very close to here, you know, on that connection. And people used to come and sit here and have sundowners, at dusk, when the tide is high, it was a lovely place. You know, just like this tower. It's not always easy to get to this tower. It can be a bit of dangerous because the sea blocks your access to get, get up here. And actually, my camera just got soaked. Well, there you have it. I just got soaked by a big wave here. My camera as well. I hope my camera is fine. So far it's still working. So I'm just going to try to finish the story quickly. Um, as I was saying, the, the, the hotel is trying to repair this wall. So I'm not sure what's the outcome of this and what's going to happen in the future. So for now, we don't have the wall. 
and we don't know if it's going to happen and the it is just what it is at the moment um, I want to get out of this tower because I really don't want my camera to be damaged I lost the camera before this is the Salt Rock Beach parking area we're going to park here so I can show you what happened at the beach that's it Simple as that. Salt Rock Beach also experienced quite a bit of damage. The water rushed right over the, the street here. It uh, blocked up this whole river and obviously the river blocked the back then and uh, flooded a few areas. So it was uh, obviously also catastrophic and you will see from the pictures that they were busy digging this open again to allow the water access to the sea and uh, obviously the cleaning up operations were continu continuing, continuing and they were cleaning up the sand and so on um, but the beach is going again it's going well here luckily not too much damage to the buildings so um, from the, for that we can be quite happy um, it's a beautiful beach very popular people just uh, south of the Salt Rock Hotel um, quite amazing place you can look at the clips and uh, that will give you an idea of what happened In the distance we uh, have Thompson's Bay and Sharkers Rock which will be our next stop. There was quite a lot of damage there which I'm going to discuss in my next video which will be the third, uh, fourth video in this series. So uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more and then you will be informed when this video is released. Um, also like this video, share it with your friends. It will be a good thing if we can spread this and if we can keep this in history and uh, keep this record in history because it's always important to capture things so we can look back at it and we can uh, improve on our history and, and we can remember what happened obviously. It also cost a lot of money so we need to know how the money was spent.